Beatrice Ndora with the Musings podcast. Tips on how emotional abuse affects your mental health. Recently, an old old friend called me and she told me this. I am a mess. I don't understand my husband anymore. He, all he does is cause stress to me and I feel like I no longer know who I am and my life is breaking into pieces. Emotional abuse seriously affects your mental health. It affects you little by little. And then one day you wake up and realize that you are a total mess. And as time goes by, those small acts of aggression towards you start to attack you with self-doubt. You start to mistrust your own perceptions and you blame yourself for their anger and emotional outburst. Let me say this. Emotional abuse affects your mental health in many ways. Number one, you need to note that the emotional abuser has a goal and the goal is to have all the power in the relationship. They want to be the one on the steering wheel of control and calling shots. And this is because of their own insecurities. They cannot be comfortable in an equal partnership. Therefore, they need to feel in control and they seem to like have a sixth sense, sixth sense at, at seeking at people who they can manipulate at the tips of their fingers. Emotional abuse can have a, neg a negative impact on you. It can lead to low self-esteem. And in most cases, it can also invite in depression and anxiety. And many women struggle with post-traumatic stress disorder if the abuse is particularly traumatic. And let me also add this. Um, it is it's inevitable that your mental health will suffer as a result of emotional abuse. When self-doubt kicks in, which is also common, it reads to you feeling you don't have power, you are powerless. Emotional abuse, oh my, chips away or cuts away or takes away at the very core of overtime and leaves you with a shell of your former self. My friend told me that I, I am no longer happy, life is not interesting, and I don't see the value of living. And therefore, it is very, very important to understand what are the signs of an emotional abuser what does he engage in and start abusing you? Number one, they are pros in, treat, in hitting you with silent treatment. If you, if you don't dance around their small finger and do what they want you to do, they will punish you with silent treatment. They will criticize you and put your worth down until you feel like there is no, no power, no more energy in you. They will also attack you with controlling behavior. Remember, abuse is all about control. And people control us because we give them the permission and the space to do that. And if we are silent and we don't do anything about it, they will control us to the grave. The other thing is lack of empathy. 
they they do not have empathy they will never step into your shoes and try to figure out how are you feeling what are you thinking they have no time for that and finally lack of interest in your in your life my friend told me that the husband is no longer interested in her life no greetings no no interest are you feeling well or what is going nothing nothing at all they have no interest they are so self centered and this is because due to the fact that they lack empathy and you know what they are egocentric they will be quite or completely absorbed within themselves they are not interested in your life it's all about me myself and i that is the motto they live by but let me tell you this and i can share from my own life experiences you can fight this battle you can start taking the step of towards your your healing or towards addressing these issues number one you can seek professional help you can see, you can talk to a qualified clergy a friend that you can trust or even a mental health coach who will help you there is help do not die alone and secondly your life is your life and it is a gift from god do not give anybody permission to come and choke the life out of you however you need wisdom and this is why you need somebody to walk beside you because if you start making big changes at the same time you will scare that person and they can deteriorate in a very bad way and also finally remember god is a prayer away i believe prayer is healing prayer is therapeutic and prayer is very comforting when it is combined with the support of people you can trust thank you so much for taking time to listen to this podcast and uh and the music's podcast you can subscribe it from uh apple podcast google podcast and uh and many other platforms go to my website beatricendora.com and you can subscribe from there and thank you so much and i will speak to you next time